Thank you very much for joining us. Now, the Greek situation unfolding at the moment has sharpened the focus on sovereign debt restructuring. Firstly, in your opinion, is Greece's debt ultimately unsustainable? And does that beg the question more globally about the need for perhaps a legal framework for sovereign debt restructuring? Well, it's unsustainable from the point of view of, view of the majority of the people. The agreement of the former government is that the country creates a primary surplus of 4.5% from the next year on in order to repay not only the interest but also the principal. This is going to function as an austerity and a recession trap. So from the point of view of uh, growth and the interests of the majority of the people is absolutely unsustainable. I would say that the discussion on, on debt restructuring for Greece is, 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 is this is not, uh, it's, it's not needed and it is not fruitful because the agreement that we have with Greece uh, basically would generate that sustainability through the reform process and also through the very concessional financing that Gre Greece receives. So to my mind, um, we, we, we should uh, continue on the road we are on and uh, Greece is in a good situation to reap the fruits from that and a discussion on debt restructuring uh, is a digression and does not help to build confidence uh, in, in, in what has been achieved and what, what, we can, what, what lies ahead. What we need to have is a real discussion, a real uh, government uh, policy uh, will to discuss this, uh, this, uh, these issues. That is why I ask, uh, and, and my country is with uh, the G77 plus China is asking for in the UN to the developed countries to participate in the debate. I think that the, 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 the important thing here is that we will face with sovereign default in the future. In whatever country. We have a situation of deflation and secular stagnation in Europe. All countries need a broader fiscal room, a broader, broader fiscal space in order to put forward, to implement growth policies and to sustain the welfare state. So we have to see it as a European and global problem. Defaults are part Sovereign defaults are part of the financial system. We need to deal with them. Okay, let's discuss the real solution to sovereign defaults. You have market solution. That's fine. That's great. But I think they are not complete. They, they need to have, you need to have the world, the financial system need to have a more regulatory approach. I think we have made significant program, progress here. Uh, in Europe by introducing CACs, collective action clauses, and this is now also being discussed at the global level at the IMF as becoming kind of the model for uh, government bond contracts. And I think that is a very important base for having an orderly dealing with uh, countries' public debt when it's too high. Whether you then want to move to, you know, progress or f go further on this contractual approach or move into a uh, a legal, formal legal regime, that is a matter of debate where the conclusions, uh, which is not yet concluded. I personally think that, you know, given that we have to build on what we have, I think to strengthen CACs and then maybe to move from there to a regi regime that facilitates standstills, prolongations, would be an important progress. But I think uh, it, it, it is a very important debate that we should further go on with.